In our previous step, we have connected our computers physically with the cable medium. In second step, we are going to change the IP address. In this video, I am showing it on the board, but in my next video, I will show it on the real systems. Now, to change the IP address, <coughs> First, what is an IP address? Many students ask me that ma'am, you say that we all systems, uh, we all have MAC addresses, let, uh, that is our mobiles, laptops, uh, every device with which you can connect to the internet, you have MAC address. Then why do you need IP address? Okay, I would suggest one analogy here. Let's say your house number is very unique, that is Z9Q456, uh, something like that. Okay. Imagine I will send you a letter, and on this letter, I just write this address, that is Z9Q456. Would you be able to receive that letter? No. Why? Because I haven't mentioned country, colony, state, city. Yes, this is a work done by IP address. And your house number work is done by MAC address. So that's why we need IP address as well as MAC address for connecting to the internet. Now how to change that IP address? First, just click on the window icon. I'm supposing that you all have window operating system and write ncpa.cpl. You will see a window. Click on Ethernet and then click right click, sorry, properties and then TCP IP v4 and again properties and then change the IP address or a window will appear which will ask you to change the IP address okay I'm taking an IP address here 10111 and that is subnet mask 255000 and here I am taking the IP address 10222 and subnet mask 255000. Here one thing is very important. What is the difference between IP address and network address? Think in simple terms. Network address is your colony name and IP address is your house, house number. This is a golden rule in networking that when two devices are directly connected with each other, the network address should be same. Now the point comes, what is the network address here and who will decide the network address? Your subnet mask. Can you see this? I have written this 255 here, this is 255 here, the subnet mask is same on both sides. Subnet mask is that number or that figure that decides which part of the IP address is going to remain fixed. That is, which part of the IP address will become network address and which part of the IP address will become the host address. 255 is written here below this octet. So that's why this, that is first octet will remain fixed. And this will become our network address. Now, if I say my subnet mask is 255.255.0.0. Okay, first of all, I have to keep the same subnet mask on both sides. And similarly, again, just I have said that network address should be same. And subnet mask will decide our network address. So 255, 255 here, that means 
that I have to fix these two octets on both sides say that means this and then our network address will change to this. Now when you change this network address sorry IP address and subnet mask after pressing OK this completes our almost whole process go towards the third step that is ending process <coughs> that is verify the connectivity that is verify the connectivity. Verify the connectivity, just click on the window icon again, press CMD or type CMD sorry, go towards command prompt and then write ping, ping. If I am on the system A, I will write ping and then the IP address of the neighbor that is 10.1.2.2 here okay if I get the reply messages with proper ending of TTL oh, normally it comes with 128 MS if I'm getting replies here that means I'm done with my basic structure of first experiment of computer networks. Thank you for listening. Thank you.